and streaming. So this is apparently Ferris is already on the stream. We have everyone. Well, LJ and Narlikin don't have a cam, but they will soon. Yeah. Well, I don't have one either. We can start video track closing. Okay, I should be using the wrong tool. Should to fix that. Setting. Mic check. Mic check. One two. One two. Test one two. Hello. Make some noise. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, loud and clear here. Yeah, we don't we don't have your image, Harlequin. Other than that, uh, you you want it? Here we go. If we can, that would be preferred. Yeah. Hello, other side of the world. Okay. Yo. Now, now Hello. We have everyone. Oh. Everyone can yeah. hear everyone. I think so. Okay. Good. Yep. I'm gonna. I'm already streaming on uh, Twitch TV. But, uh, well, right now, I think people are already hearing your voices and everything. Just so you know. Uh, I, still have, I still have to add your faces to OBS, though. But I'll, I will do that now. <laughs> and uh, I tried to add the chat today. So we will have the chat actually being streamed as well from Twitch TV. So, so yeah. So be aware of that. Uh, Looks like it works. Okay, good. Do you notice any problem with the sound? I don't bit... think so. Okay, that's good. That's great. I'll just yep. add uh, the Skype faces to the stuff and we should be ready to go. Still have 10 minutes, so we have a lot of time. Oh, I, I still have to spam the awesome. interwebs. But I'll add people first and spam the interwebs later. So I think I want... Uh, I, sp I spammed it on uh, IRC. Okay, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Bintang, baby. Some weird energy drink. <laughs> we had the corp company Christmas party last night, so I'm quite hungover. <laughs> What better time to uh, stream uh, demo scene TV than this? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being hangover is the perfect way. Especially oh, yeah. since my company is Outrax. So. Yeah, so it's it's within the demo scene scope. Oh yes. Okay, so we have LJ. <laughs> I'm, I'm cropping your faces now, just so you know. Yeah, I see. LJ now exists. I uh, should probably do the capture without the mouse. That would be better. Okay, another one. Capture. This is the part where we move around a lot. It's the what? <laughs> the part where we move around a lot. You gotta make it harder to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be a challenge. Ferris now as well. Someone having a coughing fit? Uh, not here. Oh. 
go there. <laughs> Coffee fit in, Indo in, in, in Indonesia. Oh, no, 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 not here. We don't cough here. You don't cough? <laughs> No, it's we just burn our faces off with the sambal. Ah, it's probably illegal to cough in Indonesia, no? Huh? No. <laughs> Are you sure? You hesitated I for a second so. there. <laughs> I'll ask oh. later. I'll ask someone. <laughs> Damn, how the hell do I add my web camera? Uh, I'll put browser. So I have all of your guys' faces. I'm just missing mine, and I can figure out where the f video capture device. Maybe this is it. Let's check. Uh, split cam video driver. Yeah, check okay. out my Robert De Niro face. They want to see mafia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. I see your face now. <clears throat> Daddy Black. I see. Uh, I see. Felipe is the only one moving, and uh, Jake Taylor is sitting on the toilet with a Game Boy, static. <laughs> and uh, LJ is just an avatar. Yeah. It's called a foot bath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I, sh I should be moving though. It looks like it works on the stream at least. Uh, no, I can't see anything moving except uh, Felipe. Hmm. Well, well you don't need to I see them, you just need to see the demo, so it's fine, I guess. Yep, <laughs> true that. Yep, exactly. Is it a fish bar foot bath? What? Jake? Jake is concentrated. Um, On his Game like, Boy. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of space here. Maybe I should make it smaller, put it on the corner. What, uh, okay, is, th is it something that I can see as well? Uh, it's on Twitch TV, but I think if you go there, you're you're really going to be out of bandwidth. But you can yeah, check. exactly. So uh, I'll just wait for the watch together link. Oh, you don't have right. the watch together link yet. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Did you uh, throw it on the chat again? I or is it the same it. one as last time? Yes, yeah, the same one. So okay. oh, Ferris died. I think he's gonna move. Um, Check on your uh, private messages with me. I think I posted it there. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Episode 7. Somehow the cropping is off now, for, for my uh, profile Yeah, TV. it's because Ferris left, so when he left, he exited uh. Skype, so it fucked the linemans all up. But he will <laughs> be back eventually. Forgot to unplug my blue screen <laughs> sound card. Okay. Okay. Okay, now it should be fixed. Sorry about that guys. Now you need better sound cards apparently. I actually do. <laughs> so how the hell am I going to do the alignment on on the on the OBS? This is looking a bit weird. Uh, maybe I should just overlay everything on top of the demo. Uh. Oh. 
Because when we had five guests, I would put them all on the left and they would sort of fit. But now I have the chat, so the chat also takes some space. Um, but not exactly enough. Although no one's really using the chat right now, so maybe I could just not give a fuck about the chat and use the old skin. <laughs> Well, if new chat know. messages are coming from, from the bottom, we could just place our faces on the top. So That's... That will... yeah, that would be smarter indeed. Let me try some I mean, like for that. the first few people using the chat, that sucks, but well... Okay, it's hard for me to... Uh... The demos that is playing right now on the pre-show. Yes. Uh, it's slowly, slowly getting a little bit better, but it keeps skipping every now and then. Are you on Tiny? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's that's not so good then. Well, I hope it improves as people start going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a few talking, there are a few people uh, playing pool, so that's good. Uh, I don't see a lot of iPad anymore. And the great thing is there's no Wi-Fi on the in the chalets. In the Only here. Let's spam this on the interwebs, see if we can have people. Mystery demo scene theater 9000. Facepalm. <laughs> that is so fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the only word for Facebook. <laughs> oh man, I was just on a rant on IRC uh, earlier uh, this evening where, you know, because friends of mine, people that I really like and love and hang out with, and they sound like complete idiots on Facebook. They're yep. like, oh, I'm so happy to uh, know this man as a friend. And uh, finally we met up and it's been a great day. Shut up, you don't even talk like that. Just bullshit. <laughs> it's just absolutely yep. <sighs> It's my favorite thing to get angry over. <laughs> Pretty it, easy. It, it's so easy to get over oh, yeah. to the angry with Facebook. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh man. <laughs> Facepalm, that's the best. Thank you for that. Yep. I didn't copyright it, it was uh, evil that invented it first, another scener, <laughs> also from Portugal. Uh, in, in Holland we call it Facebook, which means uh, meat book. <laughs> but now there's also Tinder, so it's not uh, as big of a, of a meat book. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people, go to bed. Go, go, shoo shoo. Okay, we seem to have Last some viewers second. now. Welcome, uh, Drift and Rimina. We are just a few minutes. Actually, it's already 2 o'clock. We should probably start already. Let's go. 
Go, 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 go. Okay. <clears throat> I think this stream composition looks okay-ish. We'll probably roll with this. Sorry guys, just doing some micro cuts thingies. Okay, let's get the show on the road. So, um, welcome everyone to Mystery Demo C9000. We are currently watching the pre-show. And this demo, I believe, is uh, from Super Dupa. Oh, Dr Drift is happy that he gets to see it for the first time live. Well, if you want to help us commentate, you're welcome to uh, say something. As you can probably see already, we have the chat also happening live on stream. So every horrible thing that you say will be perpetually stored on the internet. Uh, first thing of all, I would like to introduce the guests that we have with us today. Uh, I am your host, PS, as you should know. I have with me uh, Ferris, he's uh, over there on the Yo. left side. Then I have uh, LJ, which is below me. Say hello, uh, LJ. Yep. And then, last but not least, we have Arlequin, which is uh, there. Make some noise! Arlequin is with a little bit of lag because he's calling from Indonesia on the other side of the world. And yeah, it's horrible here. And it's 10 p.m. there, apparently, and people just won't go to sleep and free up his bandwidth. <laughs> We hope that his connection gets better as the as time moves on. Uh, so welcome everyone to to this uh, edition of Mystery Demo Scene. Uh, I wonder if we should watch one more pre-show demo or we should already skip to the show. Uh, let's go to the show. Um, oh, this demo is by Gaspod. Gaspod wanted to join us uh, this this. Uh, uh, episode, but sadly we changed it to Saturday, and he couldn't make it on Saturday. But we hope to have it, uh, it in another show in the future. So on to the show. The first demo we have for you today of the month of October is on the Pico 8, and it was released at Deadline. And I'm actually gonna take the opportunity. I like the Pico 8. Who doesn't love the Pico 8? Well, maybe not Gargai, who still hasn't added the platform on Puet. But apart from Gargai, <laughs> everyone loves Pico 8. It's so I've got it on uh, Pocket Chip. Awesome so, little machine. So, and who's been to uh, to Deadline? LJ, you were at Deadline, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what can you tell us What's about that? the party? <laughs> well, uh, I was mostly sitting in the corner coding on my release, so... Um, yeah, but but it was really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, um, the location is is uh, pretty small compared to other parties, but um, well, it makes for a cozy atmosphere and and it really rocked. So yeah. So you recommend it? Yeah, totally. It's been a it's recurring a theme. Uh, all the guests that we have on the on the <laughs> on the show here, they say, "Oh, I've been to the party, but I don't remember much of it because I was busy working <laughs> on my entry." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So it sounds legit. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of this entry for the Pico Eight? I think it's nice. It's a bit, little small, but uh, it has effects. That's a great Pico Eight, bro. It has a scroller, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's readable, so that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I really like the, the AKD style of it. Mm. The Pico 8 colors really help. Yep. With, uh, with that style. Pico also, 8 demo vibes. And 
this demo placed... placed what? I can find it on the list. Where are the results? Let me search for it. So next up is gas powered. Yep. Uh, yep, and this was the second place demo by uh, by gas powered, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. On the combined new school combo, I was actually still searching for the placing that the Pico 8 demo got. And I'm still I, I hear a I really know. long burp. Burp? <laughs> yeah, the music in Dark Gods. <laughs> this was also released at the uh, deadline. In case anybody is wondering. Is it PC? Yep. Made with uh, Tulio. I think so, yep. Yeah. Ah, okay, so the Pico 8 demo was called The Core by level 90 and it was, per it was placed third place on the combined demo combo. And Dark Odds, which is the demo we should be playing now, is, was placed second. Nice. And it is by Gaspot. <laughs> and it was uh, made using uh, Toolio, the tool from uh, Still demo group. And Gaspot has been doing a lot of demos with uh, Tool, so it really shows what you can do. <laughs> I like Gaspot's demos because they're so clean, you know, there's little effects usually, but they always are well connected and very cinematic. I think they work very well. I think, I think, so I, I agree with you generally, but I think that works against him in this demo. <laughs> because I think uh, a lot of the comments on Poet uh, will agree with this, but it, it's a bit too cinematic in the audio for what's happening in the visuals. Like, they're both really cool pieces, but together I don't think they work that well. But it's still a nice demo. The music is a bit too epic. Yeah. <laughs> and the it's visuals are... Hard to make are... that fit with something too clean. Yeah. I do like the, the minimalistic style. Yeah. Would have been great with an ambient track. Yeah, or Public Enemy or something, you know. <laughs> Run the jewels. Fate! It's coming to get you. You can't escape it. Hey, this is uh, Star Trek the motion picture. <laughs> I haven't seen the new one yet, so now this is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> It probably sucks, like all the other ones. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it looks nice. It's a wormhole sucking your mind. Yeah, like your mom. <laughs> She really knows her way around a mind. <laughs> yep, that was right. epic nice. indeed. And now I believe this was the first place. And this is a demo from Still, and it's called Super Medium. Is this the uh, party version or the the final? The final version, I believe. Okay. Or at least I hope so. Yeah, it makes a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> nice chromatic Kubrick things going on. I really like the color scale, but that's generally how I feel about most things. Picture touches. Also, uh, 
a fairly fresh sounding track in terms of Gloom tracks. Don't they all sound the same? <laughs> they, have, they have the same structure. <laughs> I, I like this scene. This is one of the best scenes they have on this demo. I agree. Uh, it looks like it hurts. Yep. <laughs> ouch, ouch. They're really pounding it in. This is where the drum ha the drums happen, we promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, jungle. Reminds me of Noisia, the soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Bloom would be very happy to hear I, that. I, I really like this part here, uh, where the break is in the music. Mm. And the motion blur works really I well as well. I, I just feel this part is discontinued from the rest of the demo. The scene itself looks okay, but I don't see how it relates to the, to the other scenes before it. I think a lot of the demo is disconnected from the rest of the demo. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this were made by another group than still, I would probably think higher of it, to be honest. Yeah. But because of their typical quality, I think the title of the demo is very appropriate. <laughs> okay, so I've been out of the PC scene for a long time. I have no idea who still is. At all. So, still, still... Yeah, they are based from LKCC. And you should know LKCC, because they were active on the Commodore 64 as well. LTCC. Still are, L I LKCC. LKCC. So nah. Yeah, l look it up on uh, CSDB, and you'll 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 remind who they are. Okay, after the show, I'm not gonna load an extra byte here. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. Well, to be honest, at the party, I didn't like this demo at all because it was so so much uh, post overused yeah. and crazy, and I was like, oh. God. <laughs> this effect was also the other one who really impressed me. This one looks pretty good. I think it looked really bad in the party version. I really like it in the final version. Uh, I think in between both versions would be the perfect one. Because in this version, when, when you see it in full screen, uh, you actually make out, you can make out the geometry better. And at the party version, it was just mostly glow. Um, <laughs> and I think somewhere in between would have been the, the optimum for this scene. <clears throat> yeah, well, you make a demo next time. <laughs> no, LJ only makes 4Ks. He doesn't do demos. <laughs> That's too much work. Uh, Indeed. This is 256 bytes, and it's by Zden of Satori. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. I like this a lot. Oh, and grimy. I, I think this is Shredder. I could be wrong. It could be Dead Beef. Because he made two entries for uh, for uh, 256 um, bytes. The Actually, playlist it's not a shredder. Yeah, it sounds like a, a shredder. It sounds like a shredder at oh. least. So yeah. So are looking. Is this what happens when the drugs are bad in in, in Holland? So I, I only had good drugs in Holland. So I don't know if. This is really no, if you take trip. bad drugs in Holland, you jump out of a fucking hotel window and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get to see any of this. <laughs> Th that happens every year. There are a lot of tourists that go there just for that. <laughs> to die, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think this is the long version, so I'm going to skip the rest. Yeah, it's This must be what uh, Harlequin's video feed looks like the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna skip to the next one, and the next one is Among the Stars by LJ and Trias. Is it called Trias so or tr Trias? Yep. The first uh, thing I want to say about this right off the bat is that I fucking love the colors. Yeah, they look good. Was that I you, really LJ, or was that Trias? Because <laughs> if it was Trias, it doesn't really <laughs> do much <laughs> for the LJ. But yeah, it looks very good. That uh, orange and green are so in right now. <laughs> <laughs> orange, orange and teal, orange and teal, right? Yeah. 
I really <coughs> tried to stay away from orange and teal this time. Uh, you just made them a little darker. Red or orange and green or teal. Hope yeah. no one noticed. <laughs> uh, it works, works really well. And is is this music uh, in four clank? Yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this, the story behind this is basically uh, that I was playing around with volumetric rendering at that time. And um, actually I wanted to visit Deadline and not release something, or just like some party production, whatever. But then like a few days uh, earlier, Virgil wrote me like, hey, I got this release and stuff and it would be really cool if there are other releases in the 4K category. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I wanted just to enjoy the party and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> this is why you should do the, the production before the party, so that then you have time to just enjoy it. That's impossible. Yep. That's impossible. Indeed, dude. In my you experience, never... <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> you never I love the geometry, uh, LJ. That's good. Huh? Yeah. I love yeah, all the, the, the patterns are quite cool. That, yeah, I, I, with geometry, I mean the geometric patterning. That's just fantastic. If, if I had to say some some points of criticism, I would say the vignette is way too strong. And okay. I'm not a big fan of the music, but everything else I really like about this. Approach. I like the music. Not I a usually fan of what? I, uh, usually... The, I think the vignette's too strong and the music is not my favorite. Okay. I actually but like I think, the music. I think it fits together well. I think usually music on 4K gets on my nerves because it's usually so cheesy. So it really needs to either have more production or just not go for normal melodies. But this one actually is very fitting to the visuals and I, it, it doesn't really get on my nerves at all. So. I think the other thing about 4K is, I mean, everyone uses 4Clang and 4Clang has a distinctive sound. Like every synth has, a, has its own character. So I, I would love to hear uh, more 4K synths from, from other people. You can do a lot of fork, especially uh, Virgil uh, does a lot of out of fork clang that doesn't really sound uh, as fork clangy ish as you would normally expect. You can always <laughs> tell with the drums, though. Yeah, true. <clears throat> I guess one could clings through for four Ks. Uh, I think. Yeah, I Blueberry's been doing a ton of since. Yeah. In the last like five years, he's done at least four. <clears throat> but I, I really like this intro as a whole. I think uh, I actually liked it better than uh, Virgil's, which was also very good. And it's so long for a 4K. That's yeah, and it's it long without feeling too long. Like it actually yeah. has a lot of dynamics, which is pretty cool. Yeah, well done, LJ. Oh, I have a cat. You guys want to see my cat? Here we go. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You picked yeah. the good angle. <laughs> You should have said pussy. <laughs> I should have said pussy, yeah. And she actually is a pussy because it's, it's, it's a female Good. cat. <laughs> so I wouldn't have been discriminating either. <laughs> okay, everybody. YouTube, get off YouTube here. By the way, hi, go to bed. Chat. Seeing drift. I, I, I think, think in general, in chat. this prod is not really, not really, uh, well, not, not really good for for a party because it's so slow and and smooth. It's better to look at it in, in the dark in the night when you chill out or something. Yeah, when I mean when you put it that way, I agree that like rhodium, I'm not surprised that it won because it was just meant to be more impactish. Yeah. Uh, and of course, it has great scenes as well. I just liked yours better. <laughs> God, PC demos have changed. <laughs> yeah, this one has I've been really spending like effects. weeks looking at depth of field. <laughs> and this one looks really good in some scenes and really bad in other ones. I mean, it's cool to see a 4K with off, but uh, 
the performance also suffers. But I really like the content. Like, this scene is killer. Yeah. This oh, just stop so lagging. Awesome. I want to see it stop lagging. <laughs> I mean, it also shines uh, by its music, I guess. These physically based uh, instruments are really awesome. Yeah. They're physically bottled instruments. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that flat uh, flute sound is killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't play that one sound with it, but who cares? <laughs> I like how this scene looks as well. More cool patterns and stuff. Hey, it's yeah, like the only... intro to Dynasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of Gaspard, actually. That, it, that these scenes are not really connected to each other. I mean, they, they have the same visual style, but but especially this, uh, this blending effect. Uh, the shutter effect in between that makes it look like, yeah, like to check out this scene, check out that scene. It's, it's really disconnecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really agree with LJ on that one, and uh, I also really don't like that transition. I think it's too long, and I actually find it really disorienting if I'm watching it full screen. But uh, but the individual scenes are pretty cool. Yep. Also, the amount of scenes for the for the file size is not bad. Yeah. Oh, so 80s. <laughs> Tunnel effect. Yeah. Yeah, but the effects were really killer. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, nice. next up, we have something for the Amiga CD. I believe it's the world's first Amiga CD demo. And it was released at Tersak, I believe. Yeah, it looks and like we're in the Tersak crowds now. This is the invitation for next data store. And it was made them. by Pacific. <laughs> Just listen to that tune. <laughs> oh yeah. Very fitting. It's yeah. called truck, <laughs> truck Stopper, but I don't see how this intro will prevent Truck from attending Data Storm, so I don't really understand the name, but well. How quickly the tickets sold out, Mike. But I'm pretty sure he got one. <laughs> I think they sold out in like four minutes this year. Yeah. Oh. They're like, A couple uh, of the like X guys wanted to go as well. Crazy. This is this was a this is a cool crowd at the party, like uh, very well accepted, and it took like five tries to actually run it on the on the projector. It crashed a couple times. And they they had the hardware there, or was it a video? Oh yeah, they had the hardware. They they make you bring the hardware, <laughs> which is good. Bring your own hardware. I remember that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, Ferris, what can you tell us about Tursak? Uh, it was really great. That's uh, Tursak is my favorite party. Uh, keep in mind, I have not been to Revision. I will go this year, but uh, Tursak is, is my favorite party because it's just goofy. Like, it's. The, the Danes are very cozy. And it just is. Yeah, it's, it's just a goofy party. It's really fun. I also spent a lot of the time working on my prod, but that, don't, that mostly took up Friday and a little bit of Saturday, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, just just half of the party. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but that's less than usual, so. Yeah, that's very really good. We, we delivered only an hour after the deadline. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next entry we have from the sack it's called Escalated, and it's a 1K version of the famous Elevated intro from. Uh, Which from is IQ. quite good. This is uh, this is Drift, I believe, who's in the chat. Yeah. That's and a bit dope. Really good job. This uh, this really worked with money. Whoa. Purex was really tripped out, which was really cool. <laughs> I believe Mentor was there as well. I I think I briefly saw him on Saturday, but he wasn't there most of the party. I think. This is just ridiculous. And this this was our mode entry drift. Is 
I believe in Australia. Wow. It would have been a bit of a travel. <laughs> but yeah, this was really cool. I mean, it would have already been cool without music, but... When the yeah, music totally. Again, I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck, man? That's I believe awesome. the shader's on shader right now as well. It's very tiny. Okay, next entry! I don't know what it is, but we will soon find out. Uh, LJ! Uh, yeah, my entry again. <laughs> yeah. Your entry again. Yeah. So you're, you're doing like two or three entries a month. <laughs> Well, I've, uh, I have lots of stuff lying around, just waiting to be released somewhere. But at the the time when when some party comes along where I could release it, I've already new stuff, so stuff piles up on my hard disk. Uh, I wish I could this play is, the same. And this is your actual hard disk where the stuff are piling up. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that's why, why why it has so many patterns. Looks sexy. Turns me on. More like a case study in camera animation, like the the one before the Among the Stars was volumetric rendering, focusing on that, and this was focusing on camera uh, movement stuff in 4K. Um, yeah, it's a bit X to the end, so because I was running, <laughs> I wasn't even attending the party, so I didn't want to produce something. But then there was like, yeah, I got one one day before the party started, someone came along and gave me a track, Virgil in this case, um, who first said when I asked him, yeah, no, I can't do a track in that short of, short of time. And, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> one day before the party, he did a track still, so, um, yeah. And, it, yeah, this was like, I think... One hour before the deadline, before the uh, combos were shown, so like three hours after the deadline, I was, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so he, uh, he beat you, Ferris. He delivered way past the deadline yeah. than yeah, you did. He definitely beat me in that regard. <laughs> and the thing is, I, I wanted to uh, to attend the shadow party in Bremen, and that's like one and a half hour drive, and I was still sitting here at home, finishing the release. And <laughs> When I released it, I just wanted to be able to at least see it on the stream then. So oh, yeah. I had it one hour before the combo started, so that's why <laughs> uh, why it was uh, abruptly ended. The organizers at Tursak do a really good job generally of like running things smoothly. I think like delivering your, your entry an hour before the combo is, uh, and that it got shown says a lot about that. Which is pretty cool. And then, so this intro is doing a lot of GI. Yeah. And this is Bubble Trouble by Loonies. Psycho always does really nuts stuff, like technically. And this is also a new synth by Blueberry, I believe. I think well, let's, music. let's do a new intro. Well, let's do a new synth while we're at it. <laughs> yeah. When when I saw this at the at the party, I actually thought the GI was screen space because there there were a couple scenes where it didn't quite reach like the edges of the objects, and I'm still not sure why that is. But it's I don't know. It's it's a really cool technical achievement. What's uh, GI, Ferris? Uh, global illumination. So you get uh, indirect lighting, ah, like gotcha. things lighting up other things after they're reflecting light and stuff like that. Right. Do you know by now that not screen space or? It it's not screen space, he's doing it, uh... Yeah, I don't know that much about the technique, but he... I caught him after the combo and he at least said it wasn't screen space. Yeah. I was really hoping for... for some kind of reveal at the very end of this demo. <laughs> so I was yeah. a bit disappointed when it ended. I mean, it's still an awesome demo and... Uh, as you said, technically it's very... very cool, but... Yeah, I was hoping. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Some kind of, even just also because the music was like ramping up, like this is it, and yeah, it was basically no light anymore. Right. So this this is an 8K. 
uh, and just keep that in mind because it's really really cool like my favorite thing about this is is that they they do a bunch of simple things on top of each other that are very cleverly applied to create a certain look and it's super clean yeah the this was in the 64k combo oh. blue morpho and yeah. uh, unfortunately, it wasn't shown right at the party itself. Yeah, it I actually forgot to look at it again later because it, it didn't look that wrong in the compo, but yeah, it, they claimed in the comments that it wasn't correct. So I'm not really sure what the deal is. Oh, you you will see when this is probably the the proper version. So there is a huge difference. I also on the stream I saw it and I was like, okay, it doesn't look really really broken or something. Yeah. But there is a lot more to see, actually. Mm. <laughs> Music is also quite interesting. I believe it's uh, Sunspire. Sunspire Orange is one of those that just continually gets better. Mm. Improving all the time. So I think this this whole uh, root thing in the middle here was not visible at the party version. It was That's just that. like the, the outer roots, not not the ones coming from the top. Yeah, that could be. I feel like I remember feeling that continuity. And this also, so the, the whole middle part actually was missing. Gotcha. But I think it did still look awesome at the party, so it was working, so... Yeah, it was quite cool. I like the lighting on this scene. I just think the overall rendering quality is really good. Yeah, really, uh, really good use of the, of the tools that they had. I believe this is the second place from the 64k compo called Dancing Galaxy by Rebels. I I love the look of this. I just wish it moved at like a tenth of the speed. I remember I remember the soundtrack in particular was really good on, on the on the system. Had a particularly good kick if I remember correctly. I think the soundtrack is by Teo. That sounds about right. Apologies guys, I'm having trouble. Oh wow, that looks good. I really like the effects. I, I'm not sure if it progressed enough throughout the demo where the different parts actually felt like enough changed. But like there are still frames from this demo that I just think look so good. Yeah. I still think it's a bit large compared to what, what's, uh, what can be seen in the demo. I mean this, when this happened I was like oh, okay that explains the file size. 
Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, I would be like, oh yeah, that's a cool AK. Yeah, it would, would be a cool AK. Yeah, really good AK. Sounds like you might have a bit of wind on your mic. Oh, sorry. I had a fan on my uh, laptop to cool it down a bit. Oh, that would that would do it. <laughs> it sounds better now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, 30 degrees centigrade here. Oh wow. Could be worse. <laughs> it could always be worse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Don't worry, global warming is coming up. And this entry is by Ferris and DJ Offman. And yeah. Wobble. And Wobble. Can't, can't forget him. He's, he's a bit new to the scene still, but he's, he had a big part of this. Oh, chromatic goodness. So I think I, think I talked last time I was on this in like August that we were working on new tooling. And we did a lot more work on that tooling and then made this. <laughs> and I think Hoffman in particular just knocked it out of the park. This is so clubby, you know? <laughs> exactly. It was supposed to be kind of future garage, so we wanted the whole thing to feel like that, that musical genre. Uh huh. It, it reminds me a lot of that uh, Offman uh, Amiga intro that he did. Especially the sinks remind me a lot of that one that he did. Yeah, every way. Blueberries. Yeah. But I think every way was like totally sync driven and and not really visually driven. Yeah. From from the visual standpoint, it was like the interesting part where, where the sinks, not yeah. the visuals itself. And this one. I really love this intro totally. I've already watched it like 10 or 20 times by now. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. Oh, wow. This effect yeah. is really cool, yeah. How, the, how did you do this one, Ferris? Lots of draw calls. Lots of what? Draw calls? Draw calls. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is, is uh, geometry. It's not very much. And that was mostly for speed, because I've been, I've been working on laptops recently. So I've been paying a lot of attention to that. And this scene was just to show off that you have the depth of field. Yeah, and it does different <laughs> shapes throughout the intro as well. It's kind of fun. Oh, wow. Hey, Ferris, what would you say to someone if he said, Oh, I could do that in After Effects, no problem. Go for it. I don't, <laughs> I don't really give a shit. I mean, this is... This, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and there's my B56 mix. I think in this scene, it would be really nice if uh, the bass drum was actually lighting up the individual rings. Like, the, the lighting progresses through the rings via the bass drum. Yeah, that probably could have probably been synced. But it's still, yeah, all, almost a masterpiece. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and we tried to make it just feel really together and like, we didn't have that much time to do really advanced technical stuff, so we're just like, let's okay, let's make it simple and straightforward and just nail it. And I think, I think we did a pretty, pretty good job. Yep, well done. Yeah. Looks awesome. Especially the the female vocals in there. Oh. Oh yeah, it sounds so good. We we got the track and like. I test. I did the first export test with just like no visuals, but we had the the tech in there and like a test scene. And the soundtrack and the synth, and the whole thing was 40k already. <laughs> and I just laughed, but we went with it, and we're like, let's deal with it if it's a problem. And it wasn't, so that's cool. Nice. And this one, I believe, is a demo. Let me check my notes. I think it is too.
Uh, it's Darkness by Strange. Oh. And I oh, picked I thank it. Thank you, Griff, for the kind words. Really uh, appreciate it. And I picked this one because it's, well, it's really dark. And it's different from all the entries that you had on the compo. Yeah, this one stood out stylistically, for sure. So it's also like LJ's 4K, it's not really a party the <laughs> party entry, <laughs> but uh, it, it's it's more for the chill out. It looks really I, good. So I I would maybe agree generally, but I, I really like this at the party. Mm -hmm. I thought it worked really well on the big screen, and I thought it was... Uh, so it's by a group called Strange, which I hadn't heard of before, but it really looks like Novi. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's uh, so maybe, maybe it is. But it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the only problem, I really liked it also, but but it was like too short. It ended like in the middle of everything. Yeah, it was, was quite short. I, I think I also uh, read in the comments on Pua that there was act it was actually planned to be uh, longer and have a proper ending. Like an explosion or something? Deadlines happen. I don't know what, but I felt like, yeah, it was like, yeah, the ending was totally missing. Well, it's like a David Lynch movie of demos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, so so you can do that harsh cutoff at the end, and you can do that really well, or you can do that not as well. Yep. And I think maybe that demo could have done it better, but I, I still really liked it overall. And this one is, I believe, the second place demo by Rebels. Let me check. The, yeah, it's called that Liquid Sun. Right. And I, I believe on the slide they said that they just finished their new tools. They used tools? Test of that. I thought all Rebels demo was hard-coded. <laughs> Maybe it was, uh, I believe they said new tool chain. Ah, okay. Maybe a new synth or something, I don't know. Oh, right. yeah, it's actually some demos, they're probably not synth, but... Very coder colors. Yeah. yeah it's, it's... Coder <laughs> colors. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what can we do to distinguish blue from something else? Let's just do the opposite, <laughs> which is yellow. <laughs> now it, there's a real contrast. Saturate the other components. So I think I think uh, like one of the things that has really bugged my eyes recently is when things aren't HDR. And this demo kind of has that feel. Like being HDR? And like not being HDR. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's really burning out the colors in, in a lot of scenes. One thing this demo has is lots of cubes. Oh, yes. <laughs> This this soundtrack also was really good on the on the base screen. I had a lot of the same issues with the six k though, where I just feel like things move way too fast, and and some other things like the colors, but it had more content than the other demos. I think second place was deserved. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but I also quite like the Carl B demo. I haven't seen that one because there's no video yet of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Drift in chat is also pointing out the chromatic aberration, which is pretty, uh... Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Aberration is, like, is a good <laughs> Aberration is a good word to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> Abrasive aberration. Ooh. Actually chromatic aberration will be a nice group name. Uh there's aberration creations. But chromatic is more visual, you know. That's true. Yeah, but that's like 
when you uh, have um, a toy shop and you call it toy shop. You know what I mean? <laughs> or you own a supermarket that you call supermarket. <laughs> I, it's, I, it's a bit on the nose. I, I also agree that this is uh, the best scene in the demo. Oh yeah. It's it looks like they have some AO, but I don't think they do. I think it's just the way the lighting is hitting the hexagons on the on the edges. Yeah, I just think I just think that the uh, the geometry was like this is the most interesting part of the geometry. <laughs> like everything before was like yeah. Tunnels and boxes. <laughs> yeah. They they obviously have some batching. So like they, they're drawing a lot of boxes. But I'm not I'm not seeing much else that's very exciting about their tech so far. I just see aha frozen on my screen. <laughs> aha. That's one of the aha. most members. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So here is part 10 of Cocoon's PC demo. Yeah, they've been doing uh, <laughs> a two-hour-long demo with multiple parts released at each uh, demo party. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. That's, that's how I feel about it. Um, of course, it's they're showing off their very impressive lighting tech again, which is really good. It looks nice. Yeah, the problem, the problem lies in the again. I feel like... <laughs> Yeah, it's always... They look awesome very methods, similar. Some nice pathos and let their engine handle the rest, so... Well, I do think you they're gotta, the only group in the scene who's nailed that voxel GI, though. I think there's something cool to be said about that, because that is a finicky thing to implement. Hmm. And I mean, I, I like watching the demos. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like watching the demos, it's just a little bit... Uh, yeah, I want to see something else from them as well. But they are doing a lot of these. So this is what the world looks like when you're a Borg. <laughs> right. Yeah, Gratak is suggesting on the chat that someone should cut together all the Kukun demos and call it a Director's Cut Bundle Edition. <laughs> it would work, and you could crossfade some scenes and some soundtracks, and it would be one very long, nice demo. Yeah, I think you can tell the difference. Because uh, at least be the, the, the colors are coherent, fun. so... So, I love this scene. I love the lighting and I love the geometry. And there's one other scene in this demo that is just so killer. And I'll let you know when that comes. <laughs> hey, how many people are watching right now? 14, according to Twitch. Oh, nice. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. Yep. There's also this like screamy sound in the in the soundtrack that I really like. How many people with epilepsy go to uh, demo scene parties? <laughs> they went I, there once and then didn't return. <laughs> I do know one scener with epilepsy. Okay. I don't, I don't know how personal it is to this person, so I don't want to say who it and is. He's a musician. <laughs> uh, Coder, actually. Oh, oh wow. Wow, that, that's gonna be hard it. to code some effects and not get fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just mild epilepsy, not really, you know, easily triggered. I hope. I, <laughs> For his I don't sake. know enough details to to say, but. Uh... I mean, son, you get a bug and the screen just flickers like hell, and you get a seizure, and you can't do anything else for the rest of the day. That's fucked up. But at least Bugs that really part. hurt you when you you get that. <laughs> Pool brain. One of the, I mean, one of the cool things about their their TI tech is you actually get emissive objects, so you can do like basically anything that's sufficiently wide can emit light. 
And uh, NTSC did a few uh, YouTube videos where he shows how to do the illumination on their tool. So if you haven't checked that, you should check that if you're interested. Yeah, yeah it's really sure. but, So but this is the other scene I love, that. by the way. The skull? That scene is so good. I just love how that comes together. Slice oh, I missed the transition. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you'll have to watch it again. Oh, crap. From start. <laughs> yeah, I hope that they, there was some, uh, some person who forgot some... Uh, uh, like, attack some other topics in their demos, like... different than high-tech metal finished surfaces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like I mean, to see the, that as well. The technology can totally do that, I guess. I think so. so. And since, since they are eating oh. in the demos, so they are not size restricted, they have all, all size they need for like trees and plants and animals and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like we're now getting into stupid territory, which is my favorite territory. Is this is uh, Shinitsi and Shinitsi? I don't know how you say that, but they're back. Yeah. <laughs> they're back. <laughs> and, uh, Good old Shinitsi so, and Shinitsi. Yeah. They, so I, I love these prods at the party. When After the party, I f actually feel like the pacing is a bit too slow and off, but it uh -huh. totally works at the party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And factor. When you're drunk so, and pants. CXW is asking... <laughs> CXW arrived late and is asking who is who. So no. I'm your host, BS, no. and on the... On the on the on that side is Ferris, and below me is LJ, and Arlequin is the guy on the other diagonal. Yeah, I was just about to write that in chat. So that that is a pretty good caricature of dwarf. We are just getting it off. Yeah. <laughs> these, these cartoons are made by Bob, who is Swedish, who has a perfect perspective on how Danish sounds. <laughs> Not biased at all. Right. And then there's a great caricature of Lugubra on the left here. <laughs> and there's Nico. Uh, Grand like is saying uh, Cocoon should uh, use their or do a cooperation with some other group. Like, I would love to see a Cocoon and Still Prod, for example. Probably get some really cool stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very accurate representation of what happens at demo combos. Yeah, and these, uh... I like this John Roger, this John Roger guy. He's, uh... He's a good caricature. Apologies for the shouting, guys. Just, uh... Porn. Porn. Yeah. Porn. <laughs> Lots of it. Really good. <laughs> There's silence to consent. <laughs> so proceeding in style. <laughs> <laughs> Turn you all to hell. In my time, we did real demos with real computers, not this animation crap. I also really liked his excuses for not being at the party. With his kid and his band. <laughs> Priorities, you know. Yeah. A stupid ducks comment is a comment on what on the prizes you win at Tersok, which are these shiny ducks. Yeah. And I love them. 
<laughs> it's a kind of demonstration of the very I'll, best I'll you. can perform with your current technical skill set, I guess. Is that really what we were doing back there? No. Well, we were drunk. Ouch, it sounded like it hurt. Yep, and my foot hit something hard. These are the ducks. Good. That's the one you won this year? No, the one I won this year was uh, went home with Wobble because he didn't have one yet. Ah, okay. So you're sharing was, it. I believe this was, I think, streaming music 2013. Ah. <laughs> should should write on the bottom what they were all for. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna lose track of them. Don't they engrave yeah. them somehow or something? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> they just spray paint them. And they had a they had a service for a couple years where they would uh, they would uh, like repaint them for you if you brought your old ducks because the paint kind of wears off. Ah, okay, that's uh, cool. They're, so they're now cheap, we're charming. watching entries from X, and I picked this entry. Uh, it's by Extend, and I picked it because it's so different from what you usually see on the C64. Uh, it still has effects, it still has the palette of the C64, but it looks more experimental than usually uh, have on the Commodore 64. And I really liked it. Yeah. I, I've been discovering all of the X10 demos, They've been, they, I've been doing a lot of uh, different stuff, and they all look pretty good and interesting. And yeah, this was released uh... at X, and X had a shit ton of entries, uh, so... Uh... As usual. 21, I believe. Yeah, and this one was placed... Where the hell is it? Extend. Number 18. This one was placed 18th, so yeah, really down the line. And the problem with the C64 demo is that each one takes like 15 minutes. Yeah. So, uh, it's a very long compo, isn't it, Arlequin? Um, I can't remember half of these demos, um, because... So for those who don't know, uh, I'm part of the organizers of uh, X2016 uh, and beyond. Uh, I, I am the resident MC, and uh, I fell asleep halfway through, and whenever somebody started applauding again, I would go like, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah give it up, everybody, make some noise, and then, you know, fall asleep again. <laughs> Classic, but when the MC has trouble staying awake, that's a good indicator that the, the party is dragging on a little bit. <laughs> Well, I'm not complaining. I might but have it been was, a little it bit was drunk, worse. just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely. It was totally worth it. And the uh, productions uh, are becoming more and more insane every two years. It's crazy. I love the pixel art in this one. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a really fresh style I don't feel like I've seen before on C64. And great use of the palette. Yep, no use, or uh, not afraid to use... Uh, the primary colors, you know, they don't chicken out by blending, um, by uh, pixelating everything. Yeah. By dithering, I mean. Looks super nice. And the effects are also good because it's not the usual, you know, roto thingy happening, and then the usual plasma and checkerboard. The effects all look yeah. like pretty different from what you usually see. It reminds me a lot more of uh, Vic-20 effects and uh, stuff like that than actually oh, Commodore right, effects. Yeah. Uh, Grafak is asking, uh, why are C64 demos usually so long? Is there a solid reason for it? Like, you can only do uh, fun effects in a sequence, so you need to space them out over a long time, or is it just do the way everyone has done C64 demos forever? My take on that is, is it's a little of both. Like, one, yeah. it's, it's the kind of style that's just around, but the other is that, like, the C64 has such limited resources that you're often like loading one effect in and decrunching it in memory while displaying another. So I think there's some technical reasons for that as well. The culture itself on the C64 uh, scene is a bit uh, that you have a scene and you have a scroller and you have the scroller for at least, you know, one or a minute so you can read the whole scroller. And there are a lot of scrollers on those C64 demos. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's it's a bit it became a bit entrenched with the culture with the culture. Uh, do Definitely. correct me if you think I'm wrong. Um, well, the the C64 demos started from all the cracking intros. Obviously, you know, uh, you'd get a you'd copy a game. It was cracked by somebody like Hotline, Ikari, and Talent, Success, TRC, whatever. And you know you just read these scrollers, um, so that's yeah that's basically where it stems from. 
Uh, plus, it's just a nice, easy effect to code, I guess. <laughs> but I'm not a coder, so I, I don't know. But um, but nowadays, the C64... The yeah, yeah, yeah. But nowadays, <laughs> the C64 scene is so uh, uh, tight. You know, almost everybody knows everybody these days. And almost everybody who is somebody comes to X. So maybe I... that's also the reason for it. You know, we just try yeah. to say hi to everybody. <laughs> And X has, really, the, the, sorry, have, X has really become one of the main C64 parties around. Uh, every year the the best quality demos are always released at uh, X. Other year. The, every other year, because X doesn't happen every year. That's correct. So, uh, yeah. so it, it's very interesting in that respect. So it, it really is shown the uh, resurrection of the 664 scene. Well, there always there has always been 664 demos, but it at least to me it felt like a bit uh, there were not that many uh, demo parties that were uh, really showing high quality releases. And recently with X, it's been every time that X happens, you see a lot of high quality and still breaking you know new technology stuff. Now they're doing all this crazy stuff with uh, using more sample based uh, things to do uh, sounds so it's it's really interesting how they keep pushing the technology of what you can do on the 664 yeah a couple of years ago I forgot who it was but somebody made like a, a DSP uh, so you know you, you would manipulate samples was it oh, probably or <laughs> I'm, I'm Mag Magnat I think I don't know Oh, pr maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you'd hear echoes and reverbs and whatever, just crazy. Arsenic. So this is called something nightmare. What's it called? Incoherent in in nightmare. Incoherent. <laughs> something nightmare, yeah, exactly. Hitting. And this is more of a standard C64 demo. It has a theme, it has multiple scenes. Each scene uh, takes shitloads of time. <laughs> and it has 32 minutes of time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to skip yeah. around a bit in this one. <laughs> Remember, guys, we had 21 demos, okay? And this one yeah. <laughs> takes 32 minutes. So. And this one is actually three part. You have the actual demo, you have Donkey Kong, the game remake that they did, and then you have the note, which is just a very long scroller with notes <laughs> on the stuff. And as you see, the video is 32 minutes long. Classic. So we, we will skip a few parts, but we will, at least let's see the demo. Uh, I actually don't remember this picture, but that looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, very Funny. nice graphics. Uh, more on that, like, just long demos and pressing space between the parts. One of the demos that I think is, like, did that really well was uh, 1991 by Boost Design. Because they would, oh, yeah. they would have the demo just progress at a fairly okay pace for C64. Just If you just let it sit, but you could do shift lock to keep the effect going. And I, I liked yeah. that opt-in rather than opt-out. Because <laughs> you could just set it on and watch it for a while if you wanted to do that. Or you could sit there and study the effects. That was pretty cool. Plus, that was also a, a good collection of uh, classic effects done really well. Yeah, yeah. And Ferris, you've been getting into your C64. I saw a post from you trying to resurrect it. Yeah, it's uh, it's set up on the table over here. Um, you... It does work. It just has some bugs. <laughs> the hardware bugs. Yeah, if I let it if I let it warm up for a while, then it will work. Except I have some little sprite pixel glitches. Which is kind of fun to watch the effects with that, because you can see, oh, that part's sprites. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I, I think it's um, just old, bad components. I haven't actually opened it up and looked at it, because I'm afraid that if I do that too much, I'll break the screw posts, because that's what happened on my first C64. But, well, you uh, can buy a new case. Yeah, that's that's very true. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, I, I do plan to open it up and dig in. I'm just waiting to see what people say. Uh, have you have. did any C64 coding before? I've done... Uh, every couple of years I will write a C64 effect. And I don't have enough to, to release a demo, but I plan to at some point. Okay, so but, in two years at ne next X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to say yes, because I just don't know yet. But uh, at, at some uh, point there will be one. 
That's okay. We'll just say yes for you. Yes. <laughs> that might work. <laughs> I'm still a sucker for these side border plasmas. Yeah, the side border, the magical side border. This one zooms too, which is pretty sick. It's a boat! <laughs> oh no, it's raining on the boat! Don't get hit! No, it waves! What was that? He fired the cannon? Oh, it's the Kraken. The Kraken is coming to get them. Now, if my video would play, I would know what the hell you were talking about. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Release the Kraken! With bubbles yeah. rotating! Insanity. Somebody's typing with gusto. Yeah, I'll be done in a sec, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> smash, smash, smash! Okay, I'm now at the octopus part. <laughs> oh look, it's your mom! Oh yeah. Hi mom. <laughs> really nice pixel art in this project. Yeah. Turn this. I think I should skip a few but seconds I think here. That picture with uh, the the Scully pirate and the and the coastal thing, I don't know. It looked a bit disjointed to me. I mean, nice technique, but not uh, as a whole. Definitely not as uh, the the extend demo. Hmm. This is the credits part. So maybe for next X, uh, we should like uh, start, you know, putting up a time limit. <laughs> then, dear demo coders, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then some a-hole is gonna walk up to the compo machine. And go, oh man, you press space too soon, man. <laughs> what you doing? That's you really ruined like my off, demo. Off, off, <laughs> the effect yeah, was cut. <laughs> the effect was cut yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get into that kind of bullshit. Maybe you should do the demo compo in two parts. Over like well, two days. Yeah, well, Ferris has a point. And that's uh, <laughs> something that hopefully we are going to look into. Hopefully. Uh, because uh, it's it's just too hard to cram it all in one night. I mean, to be fair, the problem is there are too many entries for your party. Yeah. Which is not yes. the worst problem to have, so <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, no, I wish all exactly. parties I had that problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're proud of it. Let me tell you that. Yeah, lots of very good entries every year. Or every, every time it happens, I should say. And, and, and let me just say this, besides the entries, the whole uh, party was just an enormous, it was just literally, uh, no, well, not literally, but it was a smash success. We, uh, uh, every year, every two years, X just keeps getting better and better, um, and things just keep going smoother and smoother, you know, as you know, since the two editions, we've had Wi-Fi voting, so on your smartphone, you could vote on Wi-Fi. Um, all that kind of stuff, you know, all those little things just make it, uh, the, in my opinion, the, the great party that it is today. Nice. And uh, yeah, it, 
at the uh, you know on Sunday everyone was done cleaning up and we were having a little uh, round table discussion with the whole crew and uh, everybody just agreed this was this is just the best party to go to um, not just because you know we're the organizers but we 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 talked to so many people um, so many people gave us all these back slaps hey man great party and uh, we love it and you know we want to come back next time again blah 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 so nothing but love guys nothing but love and uh, we appreciate it for sure that's great yep, yep. for sure these uh, I love these masked polyfillers pretty, pretty sure you can do all of that with XOR feeling or filling in the right, yeah, oh, yeah. The right into the right bits, but it just looks so nice. And there might have actually been too many colors for that, but I'm not sure. I love that uh, a lot of these modern demos just flow between the effects, which is uh, extra difficult to do when your effects are this difficult to do in the first place. Yeah, and that's also, you know, we, uh, all the demos have to be able to run off a uh, floppy disk. A proper 1541? Yeah. yeah. You actually have to swap the disks when it says turn disk? Well, um, to be honest, we don't use the disks, uh, but we do check uh, a few of those demos every now and then to see if they actually work off disk. Um, because, yeah, you know, it's C64 and we want it to run on the proper format, but we run it off, uh, you know, on a 1541U, something like that. That makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah. Way more does. reliable. Oh, yeah, for sure. You'd be a pretty Scroll popular guy if you came to a C64 party with magnets. <laughs> <laughs> C64 is just a fun platform generally because it's like almost every effect that you see is is uh, taking advantage of some you know hardware tweak, like something that the video chip was not intended to do. But if you write to a certain register at the right time in a scan line, it'll do different things. Yeah. And so it's all these very clever applications of these really cool tricks all the time. It's a very, very fun system. If you had, if you had another system that was similarly spec, it probably couldn't do a lot of the things that the C64 does because of that. And it always just sounds great too. Oh yeah, the the SID chip is fantastic. <laughs> that analog filter. Yeah. Okay, so this is the end of the demo part of uh, of this particular demo. It was called Incoherent Nightmares by Arsenic. Uh, they have more stuff on the disc. I'm gonna skip it a little bit. They have the Donkey Kong remake also on the disc. So if you want to play Donkey Kong on the C64, you can. And then you have some notes, which is just a very large scroller saying notes about the stuff. So let's those go are those the... are really nice if you're curious about the effects, by the way. Yep. They usually have pretty good info. So let's go into the next entry, which is uh, uh, the concert by performers. Um, this one I hadn't actually watched yet. It's my personal favorite. So, Incoherent Nightmare by Arsenic was placed 5th, and this demo, the concert by performers, was placed 4th on the compo. Yep. It's a, a beautiful homage to uh, the platform itself and to the scene. Hmm. I love these, uh... Oh, I don't know what they're called. Isomorphic, orthographic, I don't remember. Those kind of Isometric. Isometric, that's the one. 
And it's uh, a nod to, uh, what's that game? Xenon? No. I forgot. What? There was a shoot em up like that. Not that sure, on that axis. On that axis. Yeah. <laughs> Turrican, Qbert, uh, forgot. I thought on code says Zaxxon. Yeah. Zaxxon, that's, that's Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Thing on the spring. Code. Also, PS, I believe that was a 30 second combo. Okay, so you are correct. I remember making something for that, not finishing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the effect was too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that scroller goodness. Love the parallax layers in this. <clears throat> I saw Monty Raster bars. By. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> Commando. <laughs> uh, we actually had a couple of special guests at X uh, that were announced uh, by uh, our compo master burglar uh, during uh, the break at the compo competition. Um, the Dutch group, a couple of guys from the Dutch old school C64 group 1001 crew was in the house. And they were actually the first ones to open up the side border in 1986, and they made an appearance. <laughs> and so, so we got them on stage, and they, yeah, yeah, that was really cool. And they felt like, oh wow, wow, wow! I can't believe that they, we can't believe that this is actually still happening. You're still making shit? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they were very humbled and honored by it. it was really nice. We opened the border, and now we, <laughs> you guys use it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's still a tedious yeah. thing to do, despite it being so ubiquitous. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. <laughs> That's really cool. So, no idea how this is done. No freaking idea. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> just magic that that's what it is yeah chicken bones and uh, that ass here I'd have some guesses but I'd be wrong I think just magic yeah that's probably what it is that one undocumented magic option. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, we're greeted. Nice. I think I'm gonna skip it a bit. Sure. Turn disc. This is the credits well, part. Turn, turn the disc. <laughs> have sampled vocals. <laughs> Next disc. <laughs> what game is this? Who knows? I don't know. I actually remember playing this game when I I bought a C64. So it's, it's also a classic. Ah. Uh, uh... I ended up with a ROM with a with a disc of this. 
I can't remember what it's called, but it's actually fun. It's Delta. Delta. Yeah, that sounds right. And it's uh, unforgivingly difficult. Yeah. And it ran on my NTSC machine. Nice. So, yeah. Seeing all of these things come by, you know, games like this too. Uh, it made all our hearts melt at X. We were all like, oh, wow. Ah, ah, ah. That's great. Sound check. Yeah. Needs more cowbell. Exactly. Okay. I think I'm gonna skip the scroller though. <laughs> Thrust concert. Here we so go. So can you imagine when I was when I was sixteen, read scrollers like all fucking day. That's <laughs> that's all we did. Just read scrollers. Seriously. It it was a whole completely different scene. It was more like cutthroat, you know what I mean? No, we, we would just slag off each other, and uh, um, we would. Some guy actually brought a baseball bat to a meeting to kick some other guy's ass. Oh wow! <laughs> and now yeah. people say that the comments on Puet are hurtful. You clearly didn't read scrollers in the C64 scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was ruthless, relentless. Angry teens and their big tricks. Oh yeah. I actually watched uh, Two Years Crest recently because there's there's a mm. couple soundtracks in there that I love. That demo's from '92, I think. And there's a okay, couple yeah. scrollers in there. Like one of them just gets super, super weird about like you watch this scroller and you're jacking off and imagining the scroller <laughs> is jacking you off, and you finish and then, oh no, it was just you because you love this effect so much. <laughs> Uh, I the never thing knew is, that we... was in there before until I read the whole scroller. The thing about scrollers is too, you know, once you finish the demo, then you try to fill up the memory with text. Yeah. So you just keep <laughs> keep typing. <laughs> Adrift is saying that there were no forums to troll on, so people were forced to flame on <laughs> scroller text. Exactly. Yep. And it, it would take apart the active people from the inactive people, because only if you released the demo would you actually be able to write the scroller text. So you would have to do a demo if you wanted to flame someone. Yep. And if you did a demo with a shitty effect, then the, the other guy would flame you that your effect was shitty, so you had to actually yeah, no put some effort into then. it. And uh, if, if you have the time, just watch this uh, on your own, this demo, because the, this part as uh, simple is this is like the end part but the the all the little remarks in there are just fantastic you know i just saw coming by uh, the internet is just a bigger floppy disk yeah. stuff like that it's it's great and it made it, and we just waited for a while and everybody was just cheering to each of these stupid one liners brilliant yeah teacher kids basic i like that one too C64, free from NSA backdoors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that we know of. Unless you hook it up to uh, the internet. <laughs> Which you can. Uh, okay. I guess we should skip for the next one. This is all just a concert with some cool remarks. So this was the fourth uh, place demo at uh, X and now we're going for the third place demo which was Wonderland 13 by Sensor Design. The ever ubiquitous sensor. They've been around for a while. Yep. Uh, 
So LJ, what do you think about all this Commodore 64 stuff? Is it completely yeah, alien to you? <laughs> yeah, because uh, I don't know shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> you never... What, what was your first computer, LJ? Uh, 368? Yeah, so you never had an old school machine at all? No, not really. 386. So, yeah, indeed. Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm sitting here like, yeah, looks pretty, it's pretty long, <laughs> lots of scrollers. Saying <laughs> 368 further illustrates the point. Yeah. <laughs> LJ, come to X uh, in two years. Come over, yep. you'll, uh, you'll, do, you'll discover the magic. I can tell you it's not software rendering. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I can try. I will try to get my hands on some old-school platform and do some stuff for it. Uh, that's, yeah. that's already planned for like a uh, few, few months now. Because Super I Nintendo feel... needs more demos. Yeah, I thought about N64. But I guess it's not old-school enough. <laughs> it has too many bits on it. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> the staff is uh, leaving. Bye, guys. <laughs> Later, Jimmy. Bye. Yeah, no, look at this effect. I'm asking you a sec. Yeah. So it's now 11.30 here in Indonesia, which is... Uh, by tropical standards, fairly late. Life starts and ends early here. Are there Ooh. nightclubs uh, in Indonesia? Uh, you don't want to visit those. <laughs> okay. It, it, there are a few, uh, but from what I've heard, I haven't gone to one yet here. Uh, but the so the Asian uh, sense of aesthetic is more is more. So the reason you have faders on a mixing board is so that you can crank them all the way up. So <laughs> if you go to a club, if you go to a club, you know, you get hearing damage, that kind of stuff. <laughs> you need to take those plugs already just to get it to the Yeah, club. exactly. Nice oh, pic. I've seen uh yeah, this picture is crazy. I've seen uh, a breakdown of the of how this was made on uh, on Behance, you know, Adobe's creative network. And uh, <laughs> this took a lot of fucking work. Mm -hmm. Sketches, it looks like everything. FLI, but it's, uh, I don't think it is. Because you, you have the three left characters. They're okay. Yeah. yeah. The colors are really impressive there. I like this uh, twister as well. Cool that they actually played with like the third dimension in the yep. boxes. Not, not that that technically would have made it harder, but it just is really cool. It is. Flip disk. Okay, I will skip this a little bit. I really like this masking here. Reverse masking! So LJ, in uh, in your experience, C64 demos are all about a lot of scrollers. Is that like <laughs> your uh, assessment? Well, um, it was uh, a few weeks ago, but then um, someone showed me. But basically, I thought of all old school platforms as being either uh, effect show off, like raster bars and stuff, uh -huh. or um, glorified slideshows in terms of <laughs> check out this awesome pixel art and some kind of transition between it. Um, yeah, but I was shown some some prods that were, uh, they were quite different and had uh, some kind of artistic um, direction to it. Right. So, yeah, since then I'm, I'm trying to be more open about that. <laughs> but, but watching this, uh, 
these prods here, um, well, it's a lot of scrollers and lots of effects. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without being, uh, without trying to trans, um, well, to imply some some mood or uh, artistic concept overall, I feel. Yeah. yeah. So that you, you, you think? Yeah, exactly. But do you think that's what's missing so far? A mood. That's missing for me. I don't. I don't say that right. this is bad or something. But no, exactly. But no, no, no. This is, that's your opinion. Exactly. That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> My rug really ties the room together. Yeah, I, I particularly like the C64 demos that have more of a concept behind them. I think they are more interesting than these. These are okay, but they just they drag on too long. And they have interesting effects, yes. but you know, if if you just show the effect and you don't use it into explaining a concept, then I don't know, I think it loses a bit. But that's also just my opinion. Uh, there's just... Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, this is actually my least favorite Wonderland prod. Yeah. I think the one that was from 2012 was my favorite. I guess that would have been Wonderland 11. Okay. But... Okay, and the final part of this demo, they are sampling Prodigy. And they're making a rave demo. So finally there's a concept. And this is a really good sampled rendition. Of that song on season four. There's a guy called uh, Hollow Man. Uh, I believe he's on Fairlight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's concept demos on the C64. Yeah. He does yeah, he a lot does of, but, of concept yeah, demos. But then, yeah, but we call it like art demos, which I think is stupid <laughs> because all demos are art, you know. Art demos on PC usually are called for experimental stuff that no one likes during the compo. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. used to call those art demos as well. I, I'm I'm an art demo guy, so I got a lot of shit for doing demos. They are just you know <laughs> conceptual and not effects. They are what they are, you know. Yeah. Uh, and why not break the mold? Yep. No, I have respect for people like Hollow Man, for sure. Absolutely. I have also and respect for uh, people like uh, who made the next demo. <laughs> uh, One Man Show too, which is just what. <laughs> Branch is asking, what was this demo again? This is Wonderland 13, and this is the final part of the Wonderland 13. Yeah. By sensor. So this part makes you party like it's 1996. <laughs> 92. Even the dance moves. Yeah. Some pop locking <laughs> going on there. Sanity. So, so this is the, the C64 <laughs> demo scene highlight of 2016. It's people uh, bitmap uh, animations listening to Prodigy. <laughs> That's the <laughs> highlight <laughs> of, the Commodore six, of the Commodore scene right now. <laughs> Well, uh, we're not done yet. Yeah, we're not done yet. There is an... Uh, no, this is the second place demo. Uh, it's called Lunatico and it's by LFT. Yep. It's only by LFT. Yep. Only one person. Which is, which is nuts. <laughs> yep. All, all the LFT previous demos had... Uh, all the uh, previous demos had like 10, 12 people working on them. This one has like one. LFT walked away with, uh, I think, like five trophies or something. <laughs> he does insane stuff. 
Yep. I believe he's a hardware engineer by trade. At uh, Teenage Engineering. Yes, and he uh, performed at X with uh, their products. <laughs> oh, nice. those. I have one the of those. The pocket ones, yeah. yeah. The pocket operators, yeah. Yep. So cool. I have the OP Okay, one. LJ, pay attention. Style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is why this demo plays second. Because people actually <laughs> remember it. <laughs> it also had a bunch of new hardware tricks. It, uh, it's kind of hard to tell in a lot of the cases, but the, the note has a lot of details on it. Some scary Ooh, shit going on right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the effects using one of the new hardware tricks. And I can't remember what trick it was or what it's doing. I just remember that that was the case. If you run it in the wrong version of Vice, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I tried it. It yeah, sucked. Yeah, the cycle accurate one. Yeah. Which I just learned that that was not the default yeah. x64 dot exe. Uh, is it like the the VSP or something? The VSP trick? I'm not it, sure. I think, but it's a mix of the VSP and I think he's doing some. It, it wouldn't just be like VSP and line crunching. That was VGSP I think as well. I, I really don't remember what the trick was. Like. Yeah. Some kind of exploit like that. We have the C. So this is a man who thinks in uh, a completely different dimension compared to us <laughs> mere mortals. I actually recently watched his uh, safe VSP demo. Okay. Which is uh, like so VSP is one of those tricks where it basically allows you to place things horizontally anywhere on screen, like move the whole frame. But it it relies on some weird timing in the system, like that depending on the board and the capacity yeah. of the board and just like, the way the stars yeah. are aligned. Yeah, uh, it only works with a certain application. Yeah, because yeah. it violates the timing of the DRAM memory. Yep. And so it, a lot of demos just crash because it's like memory you know, on the machine. Uh, but he just came up with a way to say, like, oh, let's just let the corruption happen and just make sure our code and our data either didn't use those bytes or just they were all the same within a bank. So he was able to do it on any machine. Even it doesn't yeah. ruin things enough. Everything like that. This guy's just full of that stuff. That's him coding the the entry. <laughs> <laughs> Desk looks exactly how I'd imagine. That the less solder guy. Is. Look, this send cats lying around. Pussy. Those disk drives do get pretty warm. Yep. <laughs> now it's raining. Yeah, this part was so nice. That's another part that uses the hardware trick. Or the new trick. Really wish I knew more of the details. When I know. was seeing this for the first time, I was thinking, oh, it's probably an animation. 
Yeah. <laughs> I can do that in After Effects, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think part of it's an bro. After Effects, bro. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Stored an umbrella. <laughs> I can probably do this in After Effects as well. Bra. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, like, this is this is impressive enough if you even just consider that the music is 10 minutes of coherent music. <laughs> yeah. On a, on a three-channel sound chip. And plus you have all these amazing effects going on. Plus it's one guy. My boy. LJ, any thoughts so far? I like the art style of it. I like the music of it. It's 10 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good thing? Um, not really, Maybe. no. <laughs> no, no, okay. Yeah, you know, we old schoolers, we have a very long attention span. And that's not saying anything about us or you guys. It's it's just sure. because we're old. It's just we're oh, old. Yeah. I just feel like uh, I'm I'm seeing the same stuff over and over again, just with a different right. reply. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear you. For, for me, it's a lot more interesting knowing some of the technical aspects. But, yeah. but I mean, granted, I didn't grow up with this stuff either. I got into it later. Scroller, yeah, who would that. have expected it? <laughs> a scroller yeah. in a Commodore 64 demo. I didn't see that one coming at all. Uh. But maybe we should need, maybe we need more scrollers and demos in general, you know? Send fuckings to more people. Yeah, my yeah. next one will be a scroller. Of course. Hello, Hardy, welcome to the show. Arlequin is saying we need more scrollers on the demo scene. That's hey, important. Hardy. Maybe you can do like a scroller demo compo. Where you're only allowed to have an effect if there is a scroller happening. <laughs> and it has to be 10 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> I sense a little bit of cynicism here. <laughs> only, only, only tiny bit. Okay, so that was Lunatical by LFT. Uh, yeah, the second place sure. uh, demo at X. And uh, now let's take a look at... Uh, why is the scroller upside down? Scrollers are supposed these, these to come are the, from these the, are the bottom names up. Of this new hardware tricks. <laughs> yeah, but it's supposed to scroll from bottom to top, not from top to bottom. Yeah. Says who? Says who? He's creative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's creativity. We just don't yeah. understand art. So, on to the last demo that we have for you this evening. This is the winner from the X2016. It's called the uh, Phoenix. Well, what's the exact name? The Phoenix Code by Bonsai. Oh, it's a scroller! I was not expecting this. Yeah, but it's a scroller with a message. <laughs> the <laughs> message is, is Star Wars down. suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is Bonsai, the last level. Uh... Uh, have you guys figured out which hidden gem you want to play yet? Because if you don't, you have now 10 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> I did actually All right. totally forget about that. I mean, I totally have one. Okay, so find out and uh, <laughs> then... Have the YouTube link ready. Will do. Yeah, I had a really hard time finding a hidden gem. So... Um, yeah. <laughs> but you I don't have one? No, but I you have one. one. Yeah. Okay. But this effect is actually looks pretty good. Yeah, the, the style is really nice. I really like the soundtrack here as well. This is a comeback demo, I believe. Exactly. Yeah. Bonsai right. is uh, a fairly uh, old school group. 
Uh, they were uh, active uh, primarily in the late 80s to early 90s. And, uh, you know, family, life hit them, but they decided the to come back and make a demo. Yeah, yeah, they, they put the band back together. <laughs> hence, hence the Phoenix Code. The they resurrection of the a Phoenix. Of, yeah, exactly, yeah. Plasma effect. And, fu and funny enough, this was the, the first entry played on the big screen. Really? Yeah. So I guess your win for that. Your Is voting that system, that? your voting system with Wi-Fi really worked then, because uh, people voted immediately and yeah, yeah, yeah. scores counted. Yeah, you can still adjust your vote if you want to at any time. Okay, so people actually wanted this one to win. I get, yeah, apparently. On C cube. So I, I have a demo with 20 likes, 20 comments. Okay, <laughs> that will have to do. And sometimes it's hard to find a hidden gem that has a YouTube video. Yeah, that was the other thing. I did actually find one, but it didn't have a YouTube. <laughs> and then you create a poet thread asking for someone to encode that, and you need it by tomorrow. <laughs> or by 10 minutes from now. <laughs> hey, can anyone encode this for me? Okay, I've got a, I've got a gem. Does it have a YouTube video? Yep. Okay, that's good. It has uh, one like. Okay, that's a very hidden gem then. <laughs> maybe on CSDB, maybe on CSDB it has like 50. <laughs> or, or is it not a C64 well. demo? No, it's not. Shh. Ah, okay. It's a dot side scroller. With the border! It's a plot scroller, not a side scroller, I'm sorry. I apologize for my incoherent okay. remark. Just a tree. More than just a tree. A tree with plot scrollers. Banzai. And circuits. More than just a tree. Yeah. That's a nice, uh, that's yeah, a nice this slogan. They should pay us for that, for using that. Uh, well, this this scroller is interesting. Because, yeah. uh, uh, well, I don't know that much about C64, but I don't think this is possible. Well, you're looking at it. Apparently it is. Yeah, Ardy is asking if it's the same bonsai people from the melon design. I don't think so. There are these are the C64 bonsai people. No, yeah, these are the old schoolers. People like Trap. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot. Anyway, Trap is in there for sure. Apparently, they're Danish. Yeah, for swapping new wares and VHS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That, how old are you if you understand that? <laughs> we'll always return stamps, that's awesome. That got a big uh, response from the crowd. Yeah, stamps back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this music is great, this change disc music. I didn't even realize this was a turn disc screen. Yeah, it finishes, okay. I just skipped it a little bit. Checkerboards! 
<laughs> oh, no, be, uh, behind its circles. Oh, now they're checkers. Okay. Now it feels killing more killing malaria mosquitoes here. <laughs> uh, don't get, really don't get cool. Zika. No. Nah. Do you think I know how it works? <laughs> Just you and us, baby. This is our finest hour, or our swung some of the... I'm lost. Some of the code here is... 20 years old. Hence the yeah. name of the demo. We hope that you feel the bonds I love. Oh, I'm deep down <laughs> in your old bones right now. Yeah, I feel the bonds I love right down in my old bones. <laughs> that was deep indeed. Yeah, for some reason uh, at this X there was a lot of uh, a lot of demos. What they shared in common, what they had in common was a lot of uh, moral messaging. Hmm. A lot moral of uh, how do you say it? Well, grown up. <laughs> ah, okay. if that's even possible. <laughs> Like talking sure. about their kids? <laughs> no, no, no. But but um, well intentioned, but but you know, and uh, positive messaging overall, which I thought was interesting. Bit of a change from thirty years ago. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> it's almost like people grow up. It, yeah, you would think, huh? Coming from a time when uh, we would uh, make federations against anybody we could think of. Like nature. Federation <laughs> against nature, yeah, that's the name yeah. of a group on the PCs. Yeah. <laughs> Federation against nature. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This scroll actually looks pretty good, mostly because he has yep. that shadow going behind it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You're putting on the putting the logo on the top of the screen saves some. Uh, oh look, action. more checkerboards! I wasn't expecting this one at all. Well, to be fair, the code is 20 years old. <laughs> checkerboards weren't popular in the Commodore 20 years ago. It became popular like 10 years ago when they started having that oh. battle between who had the fastest checkerboards. And more people wanted to do FPP. Uh, no, X95 was, uh, the winning demo that had checkerboards. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't that popular. <laughs> it was that year. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, maybe I'll give you that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're the C64 expert, not me, so if you say otherwise, I will, oh, I will believe I'm, you. I'm, I'm not an expert. I, I just live here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just work here. Oh, it does say cold from Walt, so maybe it is the same, uh, the same bonsai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, so Hardy, apparently you were correct. Yeah. And music from Black City, so it is the same bonsai. So when were they active on PC? Uh, well, uh, well, Hardy's from the Amiga scene as well, so he might know them from the right. Amiga. But Walt, at least, was active on the PC. <laughs> it's one of the better recap parts I've seen, I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, shall we go into the hidden gems that you guys have for us today? Uh, sure. You should post them. You can add them on Watch Together directly. Just uh, post the URL there, and then click Add to List, and they will be added to the playlist. Nice. Okay, so I will go into the first hidden gem that we have for you today, which someone changed into Post Show. So, how do I add it? 
uh, you, you enter on the side where it says uh, YouTube, search or paste link. You paste the link there, you search for it. Yeah, and then you click add to playlist, exactly. Mine's added. Okay, so the first one we have today for you is Ice Train by Suburban. So who picked this one? I picked this one. I wanted to watch Rubicon 2, but there was no good caps. <laughs> I thought this was a pretty good, also, like, late 90s Suburban prod. This was 98? Yeah, and I really, really like the music. The visuals are aptly named, but there's something about them I like anyway. This is PC, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, PS, can you add it for me? I don't, can't figure it out, sorry. Yeah, I, I sure. think it's actually DOS. Well, that... But, uh... <laughs> that is PC, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I was thinking Windows when you said PC. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, this is, this is PC. Yeah, and the music is by A Move, who still active and still shows up around sometimes in the soundtracks for some stuff now and again. But he was much more active in the 90s. And he did just some great IDM stuff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Next, nice. we have. So, wh what's this one called? <laughs> you can try to pronounce it. <laughs> it's Atari, Atari Ben by uh, Ephedrina. I don't know. Ephedrina, yeah. Uh, I picked that one because I really liked uh, the, the mood it brings with it. And it's an old school platform. And it's mm -hmm. not 10 minutes long. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Does it have scroll? It's actually a placeholder. Um, yeah, I think at the end maybe. I don't know, <laughs> but it's it's more like a, a placeholder for um, for a demo I saw at uh, at the Trisak uh, Shadow Party I went to. Hmm. Um, but I I don't remember the name of the one I saw, but that was like the the eye-opening demo for me that showed me that. Um, that old school platforms are not only scrollers and effect shows. Okay. Um, so, as I, as I didn't knew the name of the other one, I picked this one because I really like the music. This is and very low error. It has yeah. an uh, artistic artistic quality to it. Yeah, it has nice visual Oh, style. yeah. And I'm guessing this is frequent. For the music. Yeah. Oh, hard And it's totally up -made, by the way. So, if any of you want to rate it on Fuet, it has only 10 comments with 7 thumbs. Jumping on that. Yeah, I will go there and get my club. So, Hardy is and saying that uh, apparently the vault uh, from Melon is different from the vault from Bonsai. So, not the same people ah. after all. For, for this disclaimer, on Havoc, it's a uh, nerve. Havoc showed me that one. Havoc showed you this yeah. one? Yeah. I like this. So, uh, Harlequin, where did you post the link to yours? It's in I the edited. playlist now. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thanks, LJ. Yeah. Oh, the Atari logo is flying away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know this one. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. Good. It's on my group, come it's, on. It's your group. Oh, yeah, that's true. The Palm. And the yeah, yeah. Lamb. Oh, there we go. Cigarettes for men. Palm, uh, it's one of my favorite PC groups. 
because all their demos don't make fucking sense, and that's why I love it. <laughs> A blend of um, Turkish and domestic tobaccos. Yeah, I just picked this because it had one like and no comments. <laughs> I love the music. I, I really like this as a whole. Yeah. This only has one like that's really strange. And uh, I also uh, like the, the pixeling style, you know, 256 colors. What is it? 320 by 240. Perfect. Oh, Why does this says, only have one like? It says 23 it likes. Maybe you were seeing it like paginated and on your last page there was only one like. It's still <laughs> nice hidden then. Oh yeah, James James Brown. Rest in peace, brother. James Brown. Yep. James Brown is brown. So, that was it for uh, this uh, month's mystery demo scene theater. I'm going to stop this right here. So, thank you everybody for showing up. Thank you, Ferris, LJ, and Arlequin for commentating. It was great having you guys. Thank you a lot for accepting my invitation. Likewise. Uh, a lot of fun. Agreed. Yep. I'm, I'm happy you enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone who watched it. And uh, the guys who will watch it on the YouTube when I export it to YouTube. Uh, so I hope to see you again next month for us to cover the demos of November and what parties have happened on November so far already. Let me take a quick look. We had Syntax, uh, Demo Splash, Vortex, Vortex. So, and Silly Venture. So we had a lot of parties already, so we should have a lot of uh, nice entries. Uh, so looking forward to that. And I think that's it for today. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Cool, thanks again. All right, guys. Bye. See you. Later.